joy. And she tell me, Brother Bo, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can die right now. Alam nyo, if you're gonna force me, who are the happiest people I've met in my life? And I'm, if I'm limited to five, I'll tell you, number one, Tita Neneng. She's an incredibly happy person. Something happened. Mga last year, pagbisita ko kay Tita Neneng, <laughs> sinabi niya sa akin, Brother Bo, may sasabihin ako sa iyo. Ano yun, Tita Neneng? Wala na akong pera. Alam nyo, while she was serving there every day, kumukuha yan sa pera niya. Ginagastos niya. Last year, wala na daw siyang pera. Pero when she said it, nakangiti, parang ang saya-saya. Wala na akong pera. <laughs> parang sira, ano? Ito. Hindi ko nakakwento to eh. Pero I'd like to share this with you. I would talk to Tita Neneng visit her, encourage her in her ministry. Pag nagkwekwentuhan kami, ganito yan. Pag maraming tao, tawanan kami. Tawanan! Ah, tawanan! You know? Pero pag mag-isa na kami, dalawa na lang kami, iiyak yan. Iiyak. Every time. Brother Bo! Tapos iiyak. Alam niyo kung bakit? Magsasabing, tulungan natin si ano, sister so and so. Tulungan natin. Sige, titinig, tutulungan natin. Every time I meet, she will cry for someone else. Not for her rayuma, not for her pains and aches. She will cry for someone else. That's the power of the gospel. It changes you. It makes you like Jesus. Two months ago, something happened in Anna Wim. Tita Neneng, at the age of 83, she led worship for the whole compound. The lolas, the lolos, counting children, caregivers, missionaries, volunteers, naglead siya. She chose one song as her last song. It was a song I composed. The title of the song is Draw Me. Draw me now, closer to thy throne. Draw me deep into your presence. And then it says, Higher, draw my soul higher to thy throne, where I will rest, O oh, nearer. She did not know it. But the song took on a very deep meaning that day. Pagkatapos niya mag-lead ng worship, she's called yung mga bagong caregivers. Trabaho niya yun. Nagbibigay ng orientation sa kanila. She gave the orientation. Ito yung anawim. Ito yung mission. Yung patapos na, she closed her eyes. She bowed her head. And she went to heaven. She went to heaven. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I want to die like that. I really want to die like that. Serving God until the very last moment. What is the gospel? It is Jesus. But what is the gospel? It is you that have become Jesus. Let's all stand and let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, place both hands over your chest. I want you to pray with me. I want you to say, Jesus, thank you for loving me this much. So much. That you died for me. And you gave your whole life to me. Thank you. I am overwhelmed by this love. And I cannot help 
but love you back. I want to be the gospel in this world. I want my life to be a Jesus in this world. Father, change me, transform me by the power of the gospel, by the power of Jesus, by the power of your love. Lord our God, I pray for a special blessing on your people. I pray that they may experience your abundance, your grace, and your mercy. I ask you, Jesus, that you fill them with the Holy Spirit. Transform them.